Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last year or so, as I have been posting, Google has been experimenting with Chrome OS's new global media controls in the actual Chrome web browser. And I had noticed yesterday that it seems now that the new global media controls are rolling out now by default in the stable version of Google Chrome, which is sitting currently on version 129. And because it's appearing on both my devices in the stable version of Google Chrome, this is a good indication now that it is rolling out by default. Now, there are a couple of differences to the so-called original or older global media controls, where we can see now it takes the image of the actual media, the thumbnail, and places it here in its own little thumbnail to the left-hand side in this more like material U square, where previously this used to be kind of imprinted in the whole background of the actual global media controls. Here we can see we've got our enter picture in picture that's been moved to the top right. We can obviously play that media and pause. And we can go back 10 seconds, go forward 10 seconds, and we can also cue that on the timeline. And if you have more than one media source plane, you can actually skip to next track and you can go back to previous track as well so quite a lot going on and then yeah we've got our live caption which obviously will enable that feature if you toggle that on and then you go to your caption settings um, if you click on that shortcut so quite a lot going on and I do like the new look and feel a very much kind of material you Chrome refresh 2023 and as mentioned this is the um, Chrome OS's global media controls now that Google now is rolling out by default in the Google Chrome web browser. Now, for whatever reason, if you do not like the new look and feel um, of the global media controls, and just by the way, on another side note, it also picks up the browser theme. You can see uh, it also enables the user interface of the theme in Google Chrome, which I think is a nice touch. But as I was saying, if you don't like this new look and feel, you can actually disable this and bring back the older and enable the older global media controls if this is not obviously doing it for you. And what we have to do is disable an experimental flag for this feature. So if you are comfortable to fiddle with experimental flags and for whatever reason, if you're not enjoying this new look and feel, you can roll it back. So how we do this, in case you're unaware, is we head up to our Omnibox, we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, click on that, and all we do in the search on the experimental flags page is type in global. Here we go, and this is the flag you're looking for, global media controls, updated UR, show updated UR for global media controls, in all the non-Chrome OS desktop platforms. So that's what this feature is all about. We can see it's now default, so it's a default feature. And if we disable that, relaunch the um, Google Chrome web browser for desktop, you will now see if I just toggle that media to play again, and we head up to our global media controls we can see now the older user interface has been enabled once again and we've rolled back so you can see quite a big difference and if you want to pop everything back the same applies you just head back um, change it to default relaunch and there we go if we head over to the media just let that play again so we can enable the control you can see now everything's back to normal and the the new Chrome OS uh, default global media controls have been re-enabled. So just bringing this to your attention, and um, this has been in preview for quite some time and it does seem now that Google is pushing this out now by default to the Chrome web browser for desktop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.